everyone, welcome back to part 4 of creating this, um, Zwiehander, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but, um, so today we're going to be creating, hopefully, the entire blade, if it doesn't take too long, um, whoops, wrong thing, so, if I look at this blade, it looks like it is a cube, but I actually am thinking of doing that unique thing I did for that that I actually learned because I feel like it's a great way to make a cube instead of just doing that and putting an edge loop in the middle it's a lot quicker so um, let's look at another one another real image um, this is actually kinda nice because it shows a lot of different angles just does it really fast so um, oh here's actually an even better one Okay. so really just gotta look at a bunch of different images when you're doing this kind of stuff. It looks like there's this huge thing right there. Let me see if that's there. Yep, okay. So, um, I feel like this part doesn't have that cube thing, so this is gonna be a separate piece. So let's go into Maya here, and let's create a cube. Let's bring this down here. Scale is down to, like, that. Move it over. Um, Actually, no, I don't want to move it over. I want it to be um, equal to this. So, sorry. Itch. Okay. So, let's select those edges. Um, you know what? I'm bringing it over. I can fix it later. It's just going to bug me. So, I'm going to select those edges, and I can just bring those all the way up into the model. Um, if I look at some images here, looks like... In SketchUp, it looks like there's a indent kind of in there. So uh, what I'm going to do to create that to be equal is I'm going to, before I do that actually, make it go as big as it's going to be. Um, I'm going to select one of these edges here. I'm going to do Control, right click, Edging Utilities, Edging and Split. I'm going to go to Edging and Split, and then we're going to change this to Multi. And then I'm just going to scale those out to like there. And then select both the top and actually before we do this let's scale this down um, let's see sorry for just cutting up right there but don't want to get messed up okay so yeah go back to selecting that top face and this bottom face and then extrude or yeah extrude and then let's see how far down it goes. Not that far. Maybe like that. It's just noticeable. Then let's delete these faces. Let's just delete that. Actually, that was the wrong one. Let's see. It's like these little like bar things that come when you do this kind of stuff. So usually there's two of them. Yeah. Okay. Delete those. And then. I'm going to go to Mesh Tools, Pen to Polygon, and just fix that all up. Make sure it's not weird. Let's see if we could select all of that and then try to merge it. That would fix anything. Alright, I don't think anything's broken though. Let's just see. Before we go any further. Alright, we're good fix that later. Alright, so now we have that, and I think that might actually just be it for that tiny piece right there. But then we have these, like, locks right there, so let's create those. Let's see if any of the other ones have them. Nope, but let's just do it anyways. So let's create a cube here. I create it, so I'm going to scale it down. I'm going to just create one side like I did before. Actually, Nah. Let's just see this. This piece. Looks like we could um, scale this down to like that that size, and then um, scale it out. Maybe it's, well, I'm gonna, looks like it's not. Oops. Equal. So. Okay, what am I even looking at right now? 
Alright, I know what I'm looking at. Where this kind of thing starts. These little things, which is... Oh my god, I keep going to that. That little part right there. Okay. So, okay, you know what? Just fuck off. Let me just do this. Okay. Um, looks like we might just extrude this. Yeah, okay. So if I select these faces and then control E maybe let's do let's do a few let's control E control E control E one more that way I'll be able to do what I'm about to do oops take these vertexes bring those up to like there select the next bring those up to like there and then same with these do 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 just gonna do it like that and then I don't, I don't see if we need any more might just bring them out Let's see if we still have both those sides selected yep okay I'm just gonna extrude those out to like there and then looks like it kind of does a wrap around ish thing so let's just extrude again here. And then it also looks like this needs to be scaled up to like that. Oh, maybe even a bit bigger. Yeah, okay. And then what we can also do is add, let's see, some edge loops here. Let's add one at, the let's see. Yeah, one at the top there, and bottom, and let's see if I select that face, and if I scale them out, that's doing what I want, okay. I want to kind of have an angle there and not just be completely straight, so that does what I want. Um, so now let's continue on to let's make sure it does same thing at the bottom. Let's continue on to the next piece of the blade, which seems to be this long ass thing. Um the blade itself looks like it's gonna be that cool trick with the cylinder. So let's see how long I've taken to make that. Alright, still got more time, so let's create another cylinder. And I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees in my channel box, basically. I'm going to give it four subdivisions. Um, and also shrink that massively in size. And then let's see how big this will be. Um, I'm going to try and move some of this. don't really know exactly what I'm doing. But if I move that out of the way, I can see the different pieces here, so it's kind of helpful looks like that kind of will match up with the height of that so let's just bring this way down and way up and down <laughs> to like here also it needs to be I feel like this is not straight let's center the pivot and then do that and then center this. Why is it being annoying? Damn it. Why is this being crazy? Just work, damn it. There we go. No, that's not good enough. Okay, we're just gonna do this manually then. I'll fix it later. Let's go a little scaled in. Uh, maybe a bit lower too. This is a blade, so it's not, like, dull. Let's stick it in there a little bit. There's five, and... Okay. I think I'm gonna like this. Actually, it needs to be a bit... It needs to be, like, bigger, but then... I've got an idea. We'll scale it after we're done with it. How about that? Why is there something in the middle? Oh, that's because it's this. Okay.
So let's see how we're going to go about doing this. So I'm going to move this away again so I can see my blade. And it looks like it's just going to taper down. Okay, yep. So, um, can I do this all with just one piece? I doubt it. Let's add some extrusions anyways. Uh, let's see. Make sure that's all I have selected. Actually, I did I select something back there? Nope. Okay, control E. Um, extrude all of that. Okay, let's see what this tip is like. It looks like it is just going to go down to about there. Um, we might be able to add some more subdivisions here, so let's put one there and there. And then scale them out, respectively. Okay, and then for these tips right here, we can merge all of them. So if I focus on them, and then, oh my god, this zooming is annoying. See if I can just do that so that they're all kind of condensed and then merge them. And that should just make it just one tip for it to see. I believe so. Perfect. Okay. So our blade has, you know, we can actually show image planes to unhide that. Our blade has really taken flight here. Um and I actually really do like it so it's kind of a unique blade and we're not even done so let's see what else we are going to add here to the blade alright so um, we're going to select this edge double click on it and then bevel it um, so that I can kinda get see how it's kinda like that um, let's go on the top view here I'm going to double click on both of those, double click on those, and, yep, scale them out to, like, there, and then, let's see something, okay, um, actually, yeah, okay, and then select those up to there, and on the bottom as well. So there's that. And then extrude those just a little bit. So we have kind of like a little thing there. Um, and then merge these two. And those ones as well. Let me just see how that looked actually. I think I messed something up. Make sure those are the only ones selected. And then merge them. Should not do anything bad. So I'll select those and then merge those. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And then merge those. And you can bring that down a little bit. Kind of match its peers. Okay. So we have a VAT. Um, kind of more 3D ish shape. I'm going to save this because I haven't done that in a while. And we're going to start working on that this piece right ah. so hard to orbit okay that piece in there um what is going on I'm trying to select this piece to be able to see what we're dealing with looks like it kind of just encases it um, let's see what it is basically Looks like it is just a cube with two smaller parts on top. Um, so let's make sure the other ones have that. Actually, you know what? They don't really, like, I don't see that on any of these. And I'm pretty sure I actually already modeled that. Like, I don't see that. So I'm not actually going to do that. Um, but let's see. We'll see how it turns out. But I'm also going to... Whoops. I'm also going to merge these two. Because I just realized the tip of our blade is no longer sharp. Okay, just previewing our smooth. So that looks pretty good. And let's see how long this is. 
you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna end this episode here and the next episode we'll finish up modeling so thank you for watching please subscribe